our history. We are at a time in the world's history when the pace and scale of change is without precedent. We've seen gigantic changes right around the world, driven by technology, driven by, by companies like Facebook as well. But we've seen this enormous growth. The opportunities are huge. Half of the world's middle class will be living to our north in Asia. We can do anything, but we have got to be innovative. We've got to be competitive. We've got to be productive. We've got to be on the balls of our feet, and that requires a strong economy. It requires backing enterprise, backing the imagination and the innovation of Australians. So when I talk about enabling that strong economy, what I'm doing is enabling the dreams of every Australian. Everything we want to do, everything our children and grandchildren want to do, will be enabled by a strong economy <coughs> seizing the opportunities of these exciting times. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. And uh, Mr Shorten, Leader of the Opposition, your response to that last question. What is your vision for three to six years? I want to save Medicare. I want to make sure that every school is a great school, properly resourced, so kids get the best start in life. I want to make sure that working parents, especially working mums, get relief from the cost of childcare. I want to make sure that our TAFE sector is revitalised. I want to lead a country which makes steel products and has a steel industry, as well as a ship and sub-building sub industry. I want to make sure that we've got nation-building infrastructure generating the jobs of the future. I want to make sure that we have public transport systems in our big cities to help relieve congestion and improve productivity. I want to make sure that we have a proper first-class national broadband network so small businesses in the regions can compete in our region. I want to make sure that people go to the work and are paid properly, including their penalty rates and shift allowances. I want to make sure that in this country that we not only generate sustainable jobs for the future, but we do so on the basis of rigid budget discipline, of making sure we've got a highly skilled workforce and making sure that we've got jobs for the future. And we will do that by having not a corporate tax cut of $50 billion. And by the way, vote for us. We'll have a banking royal commission. OK, thank you very much, both leaders. Uh, the Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull.